First, we are learning more about the long history between a Madison stabbing suspect and her alleged victim. The fatal stabbing happened last Tuesday. Police say Sierra Finkley stabbed Terrence Woods at an apartment on Moreland Road. Officers say earlier in the day they received a report that Woods was trying to attack Finkley. And as NBC 15's Christy Diamond shows us, it was not the first time police have been involved in a dispute between the two. We got a hold of Madison police activity reports for both Sierra Finkley and Terrence Woods. Between the two of them, police have had 79 interactions with them. Any one of us could be Sierra, so what we want? Sierra. While many eyes were on Sierra Finkley during her court appearance Friday, MPD reports indicate police had eyes on Finkley and Terrence Woods long before she admitted to stabbing him last week. In May 2014, Finkley told police she made Woods leave her apartment because they had been arguing. She said later while she was walking to work, Woods approached her and punched her two or three times in the face. Woods pled guilty to misdemeanor battery. If I can say there's a typical domestic violence situation, it sounds typical to that type of relationship. Finkley's attorney, Jordan Loeb, maintains Finkley acted in self defense by stabbing Woods. He exerted a certain amount of power and control over her, and uh, she felt she had limited options in what to do about it. According to a search warrant filed on Friday, police had responded to Finkley's address three times on Tuesday between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Earlier, she reported Woods threatened to punch her and her child and then later tried to drive his car towards her. It's um, confusing at, the, at, at this point why the state would not see this as a pure self-defense case. Prosecutors are arguing just the opposite. Last week, they said Finkley went after Woods, and he had to protect himself from her. The decedent was running out of the, the building. He was followed by Ms. Finkley with a knife. He was holding up a garbage can lit for protection, and she stabbed him. Now, a court document dated May 11, 2015, ordered Woods to have no contact with Finkley unless approved by an agent in writing. We did reach out to the Department of Corrections to see if contact had been approved, but they told us they could not comment given the current investigation.